is Don Lemon coming back? Because my understanding was Friday was a legitimate day off. Like he had our, a pre-planned day off. They yeah. had talked about it on the air previously. But he was off the air again today, and re- the reporting on his future is not all that positive. Yeah, Stu, I want to apologize to the esteemed Stu Does America viewers, because last time I was on here, I declared Joy Reid the dumbest person on TV. <laughs> Don Lemon has usurped her. So I want to lay this out in simple terms. See, you can only get fired in media essentially for three things. Getting called a racist, getting called a bigot, or, or, or getting called a sexist. Well, Don Lemon as a gay black man can't really be called a racist. He can't be called a homophobic or a bigot. The one thing that could ruin his career is getting called a sexist. And with his comments last week, he pretty much opened the door for people to call him a sexist. So the only way Chris Lick, CEO of CNN, is going to fire a gay black man and inherit all the backlash that comes with it is if he can use the one card that Mm. can usurp that, which is the sexism card. So Don Lemon could have had 20 more years at CNN if he could have just avoided that one label, but he was too dumb. He made that smirky comment about women in their prime. Now, all of a sudden, the left and the right are calling him a sexist, and that makes it much easier to fire a guy that I believe Chris Lick wanted to fire early on, but backstage politics and skin color and sexual orientation made it just too tough. That's really an interesting way of looking at it because he went from primetime to the morning show and he was trying to promote this as a, as a, as a promotion. Right. Obviously, that was ridiculous uh, as he was going to a show with three people. But the leaks from inside of CNN have all been right down that road, right? Sexism. He's fighting with Caitlin Collins. He's fighting with Poppy Harlow. He's, he's yelling at female assistants. All these things have come out in the media. Uh, maybe they're just greasing the wheels here to get him out. And this is going to give them finally their opportunity he- to do so. Well, remember, when Chris Lick took over CNN, the leaks that came out of CNN said he wanted to fire five partisan voices because they hurt the reputation of CNN. It was Brian Stelter, Jeffrey Tubin, John Harwood, Don Lemon, and Jim Acosta. What happened? The three white guys were booted. Don Lemon, the black man, was demoted, and Jim Acosta let everybody know over the past few months that he's technically Hispanic, and he got to keep his job. I don't believe in coincidences, Stu. It seems pretty obvious to me. Lick had five people he wanted to get out, but he was able to fire the white dudes first because, well, that's easy. No one's going to complain about that. But you fire Don Lemon, the Jamel Hills, the MSNBC, the Slates of the world, they'll be coming for Chris Lick and hard. Mm, Bobby Burak, a columnist for OutKick. Make sure to check out all of his work on uh, social media. We'll we'll, uh, tweet a link to uh, his Tyree Nichols column, which is one, if you haven't read yet, you really should read. Uh, Bobby, thanks so much for coming on the program. Stu, appreciate it.